Hi, Jordan. Um, Steve, Steve credited you guys for just the, the defensive intensity down the stretch to, to make this, this happen and to, to have that kind of fourth quarter. And it led to some big offensive plays as well. What, uh, what keyed that? <laughs> um, we had a pretty energetic timeout in the second half. Um, coach basically told us we need to play harder. Uh, we need to compete more. And we went out there and did just that. Does that energy start with with everybody who's bought into playing better defense? I mean, Draymond leading leading the way, but Kaminga and and others have really bought into to being better defensive players. Yeah, it's just a sense of urgency. Um, luckily, we were at home and we were able to feed off the energy in the crowd. Um, but just find a way to just find it inside you, you know, to win games and lock in and. Um, just play together, play together and um, execute down the stretch, offensively, defensively, um, and then just find ways to win games. Jordan, when you look at your 41 points, what stands out the most to you? Because it was clearly an efficient night from the field and from three-point line as well. Yeah, I missed a couple easy ones um, that I would like to have back. But just playing through the, through the offense, shout out to my teammates for um, looking for me, getting me open. Um, Trusting me to make the right play, um, but also just being able to go out there and be aggressive, you know, all night and, um, you know, we just keyed in um, on that offensive end and we picked it up on the defensive end later in the game and it was a team effort, total team effort. Uh, Dante played huge, Clay played huge, Ty played huge, um, JK and everybody. Moses came in, gave us a good minute. So, um, in the league, it's a long season and you, everybody's a good team. So. Um, you got to just find ways to just grit it out at the end and um, continue to keep going. Draymond talked about the momentum of Ty Jerome's big defensive stop at the end of the third quarter mm -hmm. there. Like, you could see how hyped all you guys were about that. Kind of what does that do for you guys? And walk me through your guys' uh, emotions right there. I was just really good defense. Um, I want to say that was the end of the third quarter. Yeah, end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, we're getting the ball coming out of – out of the break, break and um, we're just feeding off the energy, you know. We know that um, Ant's a really good shot creator, um, and he's a big part of their offense. So <clears throat> being able to have Ty just come in and just lock in um, and lock down on that last possession gave us a really good boost going into the fourth. And um, little small things like that, especially later in the game, you find ways to just um, give you some sense of motivation and uh, kind of run with it and find ways to, to close the game out. You guys have had a few gritty wins here, and now you're on a four-game winning streak, which is your longest one of the season. Does does this team feel different now than maybe like a week ago when you guys were in New York and kind of struggling on that road trip, and how so? Or what's different with this team now? Um, it's a long season, you know, and our goal is just to play the best basketball at the right time. Um, and we won four games in a row. So just trying to find the momentum. Um, like I said, use anything, any sense of motivation that you um, that you can find just to continue to lock in, and, you know, push yourself, not only um, yourself, but your teammates as well. And, and just grit all wins, you know. Um, like I said, everybody's a good team and uh, we have confidence in who we are and we know what we're capable of um, with our players, with our new guys and guys are starting to fit in and find their roles. Um, and it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Of course, we're at home and we have a lot of energy. Um, I have a lot of confidence that we'll be able to do it on the road as well. But just one game at a time, just uh, find a way to try to come on top with a win. Jordan, you've uh, uh, yeah, you dropped a couple 40-point games the past couple of weeks. Do yeah. you feel like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of slowing down for you, um, just the game, and like you're able to make quicker decisions out there? Or do you feel like something's changed? <laughs> um. No, I just playing my game. Man, uh, I saw you high fiving Debo earlier this week. Um, do, do you know him at all? Debo what's, Samuels. Yeah, Debo Samuels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you know him at all? Or, and like, what's it like knowing Bay Area sports is up right now? Both you guys, yeah. you know, on win streaks. Um, yeah. First of all, shout out to Debo, man. He's a um, tremendous, tremendous, tremendous athlete. Um, I mean, we just be chopping it up, you know, just. You know, kind of Bay Area love, but I'm a fan, you know, and um, anybody who's out there um, who works as hard as he does and 
as positive as he is. Um, you just try to support guys like that, you know, and especially just seeing him come and <laughs> be courtside and <clears throat> him interacting how he does. You know, I hit his hand, his hand in the game, um, talking, talking, uh, telling him to turn me up. So it is good to kind of, you know, bring the whole Bay Area together, not only for the Warriors, but um, for all of our teams. And, you know, especially the last four years I've been here, just try to go out and support as best I can because um, we need stuff like that. We need moments like that. And um, as a Bay Area, we're united and got to keep the good mojo going. Jo Jordan, um you guys play at practice that game where you shoot half court shots and and how does it work exactly the money goes in for for fine money mm -hmm. um does ty usually make those <laughs> um fine money half court shots is one thing me and steph shoot half court shots in practice um every day pretty often ty gets in there sometimes um but i think something that <laughs> We found out about Ty's game is that he's extremely meticulous in the shots that he takes, the decisions that he makes, and just to see him pull up off the dribble from half court um, after I got doubled, I was like, Ty, go ahead, just throw it to Ty. Um, and at at zero point did I think the shot was going to miss. It just you kind of felt it, and it gave us a big boost. Um, but it's just it's joyous to see um, our guys just really just fit in, play with joy, have fun, um, step up in the moment, make big shots like Dante did tonight, Ty did uh, tonight a couple games ago he did. We just have guys stepping up, um, and, and they're just showing, you know, not only our coaches and our team, but they're showing the rest of the world that they're built for this moment, you know. They're showing you guys, so whenever you guys talk crazy about them, they hear that, you know. So they're locked in, and credit to every single one of um our players on this team, and we just got to find ways to, to keep this good mojo going.